Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Lover. In which right now we have the President and the People. For over 200 years, the Enclave President has wielded a great amount of power within the organization, if not all. With the Congress only given an advisory role and lacking any true power as a legislative branch. But times have changed rapidly. We are no longer a limited military organization, but a government. How will the role of the President change in the future? How will it change? It'll take a strong people to bring peace to America. It'll take a strong president to bring peace to America, or it'll take a strong president to defeat communism. We get more war sports, some more uh, autocracy. If you mention communism, we've got to stamp it out. Cool, we've got quite a few comments to go through, but let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go immediately do the fate of our democracy, and then do law and order. Because these will help us replace and get rid of just garbage national spirits that really hurt us. So, the fate of our democracy. Some say that to be truly, to be the United States. We need to restore democracy and end the martial laws that has been in effect since 2077. But I just question whether this is the best time. No. So one of the comments, actually one of the people that's on my Discord server keeps asking me, will I keep this as a democratic country or maybe something a little bit more <clears throat> authoritarian? Well, we'll see in just a little bit. Regardless, we have quite a few comments and actually quite a few people want me to use airships, actually. I'm a little surprised that you guys want me to use airships. We don't even even have them researched. So, I mean, I'm totally down with that. Sure, why not? Let's grab some airships. Combat blimps. Uh-oh. Communist uprising is brewing. Douglas is sure of it. All the signs are there. Baseball games have rained out. Cook overcooked Brahmin steaks. Crop circles. Legion spies. All across the United States. What else could this be but the beginning of a red plot? We must be prepared for the red menace. Oh, boy. And the freedom of speech. There have been some updates, or some upsides to the fall of the NCR by its final hours. The nation was run by an oligarchic alliance between the Brahmin barons and the caravan companies who turned the NCR's democracy into a joke. They managed to suppress dissent in much of the NCR by buying up, or otherwise dealing with, hostile reporters, pushed the NCR Senate to pass legislation clapping down on what could and couldn't be published. The fall of the NCR has given writers room to breathe while the American promises too many a breath of fresh air. For all the chaos, there's a feeling in the air, a whisper of old world blues and new world hopes. Time will tell whether this will turn it into an American spring or a nuclear winter. Wait, what are they writing about us? We get free press. Hmm, the free free press? I like the press. But the free press? I don't know, man. That seems kind of sus to us. The end of the reformers, though, with the Enclave's rule expanding across Nevada and the destruction of the diehard purists, Granite has become a president, in fact, as well as name. Granites. Supporters no longer call themselves reformers, for they're no longer just enclave scientists and officers, but include Brahmin barons, casino owners, cha-ching, caravanners, salvagers, vault dwellers, and even a few couriers. This is a problem, though. All these people have different dreams and visions for America. Granite can keep them united for now by saying his priority is reconstruction, but this ain't gonna last forever, man. And if Granite stands for nothing, then what will he fall for? Democracy seems a lot messier than the old book said. Oh, daily intellectual support. Oh, that's not good. And a world tyranny and serfdom. With the liberation of California, America's cause seems brighter than it has in 200 years, but there are those who oppose the restoration of the U.S. Kaiser's Legion and the Washington Brotherhood, guided by unholy contempt for America, have formed an alliance against us. They know that if left unchecked, the reunited states will claim this country, and so they've asked for war. And they're going to get it. The enemies of America have begun to gather against you. They have prepared to solidify their alliance and move upon you. Oh, crap. That's not good for us, especially with the NCR's land still being kind of a problem, especially since we have no map. we got two guys, though. Cool. The reunited states must choose a national anthem. Some say we should stick with the Stars and Star Spangled Banner, or perhaps the Battle Cry of Freedom. Oh, I love that one. That's probably one of my favorites. But Secret Service spies in the Boneyard found a hollow disc at a pre-war bar called the Eagle by a singer named RuPaul. Her song, American, is a hit with the troops, for she's the stars and stripes flying high, red, white, and blue. She is me and you, and she's American through and through. Star Spangled Banner yet waves. We rally once again, shouting the battle cry, Freedom! The Enclave can learn from Ru RuPaul. <laughs> All right, there. So, maybe we'll get some airships. We'll probably actually will, but it's just going to take some time to research them. That's fine with me. Eventually, it, there'll be no problem. Let's see. Organizations request increased uh, production ca capacity. I'm pretty sure... Well, we got military sending bonuses. So oh, so that's how we're getting more weekly manpower. I was wondering how we were going to get that, but... Okay, non-core manpower, more weekly manpower. That's going to go away immediately. Prioritize civilian relief. A little bit less construction speed. We got more stability from that. We can reclaim the Declaration of Independence. We can rebuild infrastructure, which would be okay. Gain 1% of legitimacy for every two level of infrastructure built during the decision. Eh. And sponsor a railway. It's not bad. Not bad. Restore the songs. We have a communist uprising. Communist defeated forever. 
unless we stop them, the comets will rise up against America. Now, I don't remember this one when I first played this Enclave Reborn mod, so... How do I stop communists? Well, regarding the songs, do we allow slavery? No, we don't. So, I think the Battle Cry of Freedom, while it is one of my favorite songs ever, um... Yeah... Yeah... With a little segregation is great, but Battle Cry of Freedom. So, oh, increase production capability. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. But, nah. We don't have any civilian workshops to use, so... Yeah. Yeah. Afraid of a democracy will be good. So, I'm going to assume that they mean the she are communist. So... And actually, wasn't the Legion marching against us, right? Actually, we can do this one, too. I kind of don't mind getting more army XP. We, might, we can get another research slot. I'm not sure what they're going to do here, so... Bid to conquer the West. They might go to war with us? Hopefully not. Where free men shall stand. Hayes burns genetic test results. Although Hayes is a member of the Enclave, and so are the f uh, so fine American stock, like everyone else, he had to be screened for mutations. Hayes had publicly burned his results in the streets of Deglo, along with dozens of others of protesters. Shockingly, some of the protesters were seen waving NCR or New California flags behind Hayes as he shouted he would always fight for freedom. You are the worst Enclave member ever. The disloyal opposition. One of the greatest surprises of the past few years is that Grant C. Hayes, Enclave loyalist and Deglo mayor, has begun fighting with President Granite. Hayes was raised by the Enclave's elite, but somehow the subjugation in California has radicalized this American patriot. Hayes has spoken out in favor of ghoul rights, greater aid for impoverished wastelanders, and even the need to repel or respect the tribals. This morning, Hayes took to, to New California Public Radio to announce the formation of a new political party, the New World Party, and they were pushed for greater rights for all Americans. He also rejected the crisp military attire of the Enclave's elite for the casual alternative attire New California is known for. Hayes stands as a hair, the, as the hair of the best of Cali New California and New America. And you have some thoughts on this indefinite military rule. This isn't how democracy was supposed to go. I'm a little worried about this one. So what does this one do? Does not exist in Civil War. Well, these guys are going to collapse anyways eventually. So I'm not really too worried about that. We're getting more money. Expensive ways. Well, we got no more manpower, of course. We get 63 people a month, though. That's kind of nice. Guerrilla tactics. Cool. Organization. Ooh, what about engineer? Ooh, yeah. Military secretary. There we go. Very nice. And what do we have here? Decisions. The Legion marches. Yeah. I want to see what happens first with the Legion. Then maybe we could just take out the Shi. Because they won't be too bad, hopefully, to take out. We've got 90 days. And we do have the war goal against them anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. And the Legion marches. The Great Bear of the West is, of the West is dead, and now the Legion turns to clean up its flank. The only significant remaining foe of the Legion are the reunited states. But many fear that it will fall like so many others before Kaisar. Oh. I'm going to award dead horses. Alright, whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to sacrifice these guys and we'll see what happens. Alright, so you guys are going to do great. Well, I'm going to tell them that they're going to do great. They might, they might not. So, I'm going to assume that they mean that these people are communists. I can't imagine anyone else they would call communist other than the she. Um, yeah, so if we lose a guy here, a guy or two, things happen, you know, things happen. We're going to try to cut all these guys off. Heck, we might just try to go for the victory points like we did with the NCR, because that was literally maybe even a war in less than a minute when we took them out. It was great fun, don't get me wrong, but very surprising to see how fast we capitulated them. Now we have no manpower, and this is literally quite a suicide mission, but we'll see what happens. Gotta have a little bit of fun with it, right? Uh, Jacob, you got anything for us? Any upgrades, Jacob? Anything good? Gunslinger? Nope, you're not infantry, so. Nope, he does not. Any other things here? Nope. And we need more manpower. Oof, we got we got enough of everything. Even fighters. But just n never enough manpower. But the fate of our democracy, let's see what happens. Fund the EPA. Eventually we will. Stability. Ooh, that political power could be nice because currently we're getting 0.22 a day. Law and order will be next, though. But let's see what happens here first. So, the fate of our democracy. New arena prospers under our rule, but we must decide how to govern the United States. Douglas' rule has been successful when he brought us back from the brink. The nation's been under martial law since the war, and he could cement his power, and frankly, better than we could hope, rule. Or we could aim to restore the United States, risk, risking losing control of the enclave in elections and giving power to the natives. Presidential powers, it's time for elections, well, let's see. Empower Congress, more legitimacy, more stability, we would like that, that would be kind of cool. Or we just extend presidential powers, in which we lose legitimacy, which I don't really care about already. Its relevance is down to 28%. We get 5% more autocracy, more stability, presidential dictatorship, which makes it cheaper to get 
uh, more advisors and other costs like that that uses political power and remove collapse government immediately and collapse government hurts our political power game consumer goods stability weekly stability factory repair speed free repair and just five world goal times where the way we're already we have hello i guess okay i wasn't expecting that but very nice i'll take you oh, we got 16 guys too oh we got must have got that weekly manpower or something you know, with the way we're going ruthless, I'm feeling, as to the disappointment of some people, I think for this campaign, we gotta extend presidential powers. I've been absolutely ruthless in how we treat people, so... We're gonna have to extend some presidential powers. Legitimacy, whatever. Actually, what's the relevancy of it now? 28%, so I would like to suspend elections. Silence Congress, that would be actually pretty good to do. I would love to do law and order. Since we can't do we can't do this one since I did not expand the definition of human, so we have to go with a new order. Ah, TNO. You know. Because I don't want to, because it keeps hurting our weekly stability, and I don't want that. So it's only 40 days, and then we'll rush down this side again. So how do we rule the West Sentence? Do we want to create the name or the same system of laws that let the corrupt of pre-war America get away with heinous crimes? Or do we want to impose the ruthless order of the Legion, making California into a desert and calling it peace? Wait. Let's try it again. Collapsed government is gone, thank goodness. Now our stability is only going down by 0.5 every week. Now let them do whatever they want over there. So now we get 1.37. We actually... Um, thank God we got rid of that. Oh my goodness. Woo! Raiders don't really care. Now, if we do this... Oh wait. Ban free press. We'll get some more stability. Ooh. Stability is lost is based on the popularity of the people's faction. Presidential dictatorship makes things cheaper. End of the reformers. Anarchy. Where's the free press? National health care. New Sparta. Service guaranteed citizenship. New arena police. Separate but, but peaceful. I don't see it, but okay. All right. We cannot rebuild this great nation while malcontents and anarchists spread vital state secrets over the papers and radio. For the good interests of all Americans, it's time for us, or time for the press, to fall in line. Now that's a lot of stability. Now they're going to riot and be like, no, we want free press. I'm back. Like, Daddy Granite said no. Now we're going to have raiders, but whatever. I don't really care. And there goes these guys. Warden, Mosannix. Oh, Lannis is going to be getting kind of thick. Santa Ana is doing a great job. I love it. I'm glad Santa Ana is doing it because it's easier to take him out since most of his cores are up here, so it's, it's just easier. Ah, uh, very good. And we will get the... Declaration of Independence there, again, under us. For some reason, I do not know why or how, but my mind just stopped working. It happens quite often. It's unfortunate. Oh, well. We got the transport planes doing a great thing. I'd love to duplicate you guys, but we don't have anyone else. Nukeland! Before the Great War, New Reno was home to a park full of rides and games called Nukeland. Although not as impressive as its East Coast counterpart, we could revive it as a symbol of the promise of better times to come. And... We could also test some experiments on the park goers. Unless this theme park trains death claws pass. Well, it's better than the plan of poisoned roads, water supply, construction speed. We can't even build anything anyways, right? Oh, actually, we can a little bit. Nukeland seems like a lot of fun. You know, we gotta give people a way to enjoy themselves. Especially after we got rid of the free press. <laughs> so, there we go. How much longer must we wait for these guys? 50 days. Oh, there goes the East Part. Yeah, I'm probably to fight the 80s, Washington Brotherhood, and the Legion all at the same time, but I'm, I'm I'm not really concerned about that right now. Bricks? I love bricks. You can throw them at people and hurt them. Mm. Slipways. Construction speed. That'd be kind of nice. I could invest some more money into here. Vault City, that's actually a core, so let's go and do that one. You get 163? Not enough. Wow. Marrow Drinkers are getting kind of thick. I like it when they get thick. Oh, we sent out scavengers. Time for some new world hopes. Radar system, which does absolutely nothing for us, but whatever. Whatever. All right. Oh, we don't have any money, huh? Oh, we need, we need more manpower to do that. That's fine. All right. Well, the communists. 46. Our guys are there. Wow, that's a lot of divisions. How many divisions does the she have? That's manpower. They... Ooh, if I attack, this is probably not going to go well. And if it doesn't go well, well... I'll probably have to redo this. Then. But let's see what happens. They attack us. And we're hopefully immediately trying to go in. These guys have been cut off. 
Get them all off. Concord. And we just lost a division. God dang it. Oh, and we lose these divisions. God dang it, we lost a division. No! <laughs> the brave soldiers! Oh, no, 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 no. But we took them out. Uh, you know, we lost one division against the Shi. We lost n literally nothing against the NCR. We actually gained those militia divisions, which... Did I delete them or combine the armies? I can't remember. But... Oh my goodness. We lost a division against the Communists. Actually, we can make a good story out of that. How we pair dropped and the men fought valiantly and bravely to the end, buying time for us to capitulate the government of the Shi. So, here's another comment from yesterday saying that if we puppet somebody, can we build civilian workshops uh, or civilian power grids in the territory so that one way when we integrate them, then we can quickly just use whatever we have or use the civilian power grids and just core them? That's an interesting idea. I'm not going to do it yet just because we have to take up the communists, so... Or at least this is what I assume is a communist uprising. I don't mind resurrecting them. Is that... Communism defeated. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. Is there something here about communists? Oh, counterfeiters. With the collapse of the NCR's treasury, we're left to fill in the gap with enclave Re reconstruction authority script and bottle craps. Bottle craps? Bottle caps. Unfortunately, this has left counterfeiters with the ability to inject false currency into the economy. We need to revive the banking system to put a stop to this. Well, it could be worse. Law or order. Since the NCR has collapsed, New California has been robbed with banditry, corruption, and brutality. The NCR's ramshackle bureaucracy already overstretched has all but collapsed despite the enclave reconstruction authority's efforts to keep it in place. Gangs of barons rule as they please in time and to get the state up and running again will require substantial efforts. Some ideals in the NCR believe we need to restore our faith in the imperial judiciary, a law that protects the salvager and the Brahmin baron alike. Others think we should work with the NCR's leap and crush dissent quickly and efficiently. After all, a strict constitutional scholar might question how Granite even became president. To the Republic, a land of laws and not of men? Lawyers won't stop the Legion. It's not bad. It's not bad. Well, actually, we, we can't, technically aren't allowed to go down this way. Revive the judiciary would not be bad. Remove underfunded justice system. Replace New Reno police with the FBI. Wow. It's not bad. Oh, wait. Resistance to case be plus 5%. Activity chance plus 5%. If we go down the new order, looking not too bad. I bought patrols. I like un getting rid of underfunded justice system. Martial law. And re remove the relevancy of legitimacy. I'm sorry, with the way we've already gone, we gotta go. The large ain't gonna stop the Legion. Love it. And. Still kinda high there. Silence Congress. We lose. Uh, actually, it's, it's better to do this now since we don't have legitimacy anyways. So. Congress. Haven't heard of it. Rest assured, I am your president because the appropriate people of this great nation decided that I should be. I am your duly elected representative and Congress voluntarily issued legislation giving me the powers of the legislature for the duration of the uh, <clears throat> emergency. Absolutely. Wow, we already have a lot of stability. Now that's pretty nice. Oh, cultural policies. No broadcasts, entertainment stations. Eh, I don't want to hurt consumer goods yet. Intellectuals, daily political power, segregationist propaganda. New World Party, elites, way up. Actually, the president's down there, too. Irrigation, not bad, not bad. Ooh, I can grab some of this, because why not? Keep getting 16 more guys. A weekly gain is 68. I don't know. Boost the civilian economy. We removed four arms workshops and bank four civilian workshops. You know what? I kind of like that idea. Hmm... Because we have already 59, we're not even using all these, so and we don't have the resources for it, too. I don't mind getting more of this, why not? That just makes sense to me. More civilian workshops, we can build stuff up faster. Actually, where are we building stuff up first? Visiala? We can't core that yet. The fall of Chichen Itza. Alright, whatever. We probably have to kill the Brotherhood of Seals as well. Just saying. So, what was that? Not the communists? Hold on. Let's look in the tree. Let's look in the tree. Uh, let's actually... No, we did anti-communist propaganda. Oh, the enclave were born. Com. It's right there. Uh, model communities. There's three. Remove emergency labor draft. Well, I don't see anything about communism. Oh, we can warn of the Red Menace as well, but... 
Oh, we could probably take him out. Restoring songs is really nice to get some more energy as well, because we're not looking good on energy. Might as well. The Brahmin Barons, even after crushing the rebellions in the SCR, or the re rebels in the NCR, the Brahmin Barons' wealth and power gives them a string to hold on in Northern California. Some suggest we spend men and laser guns to break the power, while others suggest we cement their position and the United States at great cost for popularity. Some wonder there's a third option out there. Too bad we can't get them to Kaiser. Well, that sucks, whatever. Uncivil civilian unrest. There's increasing resistance to our presence in our new territory. Groups have gathered in blank and are becoming increasingly more brash and violent. It seems that tension is now reaching a breaking point, resulting in widespread destru destruction. Intervention may only embolden them. Put them in their place. Put them in their place. They know their place. They're going to stay in their place. Oh, they established order? New Canaan is having a little problem there. Uh, so we need the FBI, Voting Rights Act, or Indefinite Martial Law. Alright. End of the reformers, huh? Oh, so that means we should probably be getting some more ca- Ah, it's going up even higher. Yeah, Citizens Lynette? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Granite is here for life. And you better love him. With open arms. I really want to go to this area. But, we need more energy. And actually, neighboring states have to be cored first, so. Alright, that's good. Suspend so elections? I want to do that really badly, but we got to have indefinite martial law as fast as possible. Lawlessness, terror, murder. They're all around us. I know, I know, but not for long, sweet America. Not for long, oh no. The Enclave will restore peace, order, and prosperity to this great nation. And those who oppose us will be removed forever. Standard dice tools are a nice thing to have. Let's grab some of this, too. Recycling. Very good. Because I'm not really worried about production. I mean, we're doing well and everything. Communist uprising. The president's great surprise. 12 o'clock. 10, April 10th. 2280. Saw so no communist uprising. Ah, perhaps the communists are now more devious than we feared. We'll be waiting communist scum. Maybe I've taken things too far? No. No, no. We didn't go far enough. See these people here? We gotta purge. And also, I put the things in care for guards, put us in Stockton, and the city of Stockton. A crowd of people formed. Too sudden and organized to be a spontaneous occurrence, especially considering the banners even furled and slogans chanted. A brave few souls flying NCR flags as the crowd grows and marches on. Protests have broken out in favor of ex NCR state. Money taken to the street, demanding the return of free press in our country, and laws protecting them from persecution. Break up the protests. Let them tire themselves out. Comply with their demands. We get free press. Protests may happen again. Well, this is going to be painful, but I don't care. The Stockton Massacre. Sporadic protests have occurred in Stockton for several days, and the Enclave Reconstruction Authority has responded by sending in their armed forces to disperse the crowds. This move only escalates tensions as power armored forces clash with protesters in the streets of Stockton. A few hours later, an Enclave trooper reported a sniper fire from the crowd and returned fire before receiving permission to engage. The resulting chaos caused the situation to spiral out of control, resulting in scores of civilian casualties with not a scratch on a soldier's power armor to prove the existence of the supposed sniper. At least there is no free press to report on this inf on this event, but that doesn't mean that the word of mouth won't spread across the country. A dark day for all of mankind, only if you think it's a dark day. You see, oh, let's do this one. Get more compliance, even though, even though we should be getting some compliance. And less resistance, that is absolutely worth it, especially since we have over 1,200 caps, so. Railways, I mean, I would love to sponsor railway to, or build, rebuild infrastructure and get more legitimacy, but I'm not concerned about railways, to be honest. Actually, you know what? And honestly, we should be building up in Mark Lee first, because that's connected to New Reno, and that's already cored, so we can core this one as fast as possible. Oh, great. Economic restrictions? How do we... We have another division? Okay, then. Wait, hold on. Where is this going? Yeah, Garrison's... Oh, let's do that one, too. Counterfeiting? Oh, that's done. Radioactive material leak confirmed. Our area detectors immediately picked up the radiation. Our standby containment teams officially dealt with it. The leak with very minimal exposure thanks to the reinforced radiation suits. Construction crews are already on their way with lightweight equipment to plug any leak detected in the core, and medical camps have been set up around the perimeter. Overall, it was a very fun operation. Thank God that we have the means to deal with it swiftly. Give my thanks to the containment team. Now let's get this reactor back online, which is really good. Because we actually have seven now, which is going to be very, very useful. Now, I could just cut these out and send the manpower to go into here, but I don't really care. We're going to lose manpower anyways, and we might as well get something out of it, right? iBot patrols would be nice. Seven days, six days, and we'll probably finish with one first. iBot patrols will be finished with indefinite martial law. Oh, NCR Lois, assassinate commander. This morning, the, J the body of Jacob Dwemer Freeman was discovered in his forward outpost. The commander was shot at point blank several times with small arms weapons. The local enclave forces suspect NCR Lois to be behind the cowardly assassination. They've arrested the NCR civilians that have been tasked with maintaining the base, though no one has come forward and confessed. Our forces in the area are restless and eager to find a culprit, not doing so to certainly harm morale. We have no evidence on cleaning 
and the cleaning crew release them. Looks like the time we looks time looks like it's time we set some examples. Oh no, we're gonna set some examples. Our new vice president is part of a uh, reconstruction. Grant is a set appointed vice president, a power reserved to the president pursuant to the forty fourth amendment to help manage the nation's divisions. Lynette would help reach accommodation with the Citizens League and promote their dream of a managed democracy where there's a place for everyone so long as they're in their place. Congressman Hayes would represent an accommodation with the New World Party, a promise that the United States will continue to stumble towards greater equality and freedom for all Americans. But in his darkest moment, Grant wonders if Americans are ready for democracy. Perhaps the president should continue to manage his nation with a firm partner his side? Sergeant Dorn has been the invaluable person since the fall of Navarro, and nobody would dare challenge his orders. I will not make this decision lightly. Now, do we get events for that? Propose the Mexican, Mexican Titans. Seeking allies. Well, we're probably going to have to go with Firm as Granite since the way we've already gone already. So, and I do want to read Indefinite Martial Law by now. Uh, cool. You have encountered enclave troops in your towns and your settlements. When you see the enclave, you see the U.S. government. We are authorized to restore order and civility by any means necessary. Just stay out of the way and let us get our job done. Legitimacy? Mm, we're pretty legitimate, I would say. Long range radio? We are the U.S. government. So we're going to get that one done. Very good. The Baron's Grip's Titan, so we just need to have... Oh, wait, all the following FBI. We have completed indefinite martial law. That'll be fine. Um, I don't want to... I want to reclaim the Declaration of Independence later, so that gives us more legitimacy, even though it doesn't matter too much. It's best to do it later. One of the Red Menace, we lose stability for... Oh, actually, we need a lot more war support. Oh, big bad words. Mm, nope, nothing there I really care about. Alright, well, we still get some more political indoctrination. I'm kind of glad I didn't remove... What the heck? We have worthless wages? Holy bad words. Cultural policies? Oh, we're still getting some more reformer stuff, which is fine. Hmm. What down here? Oh, yeah. Oh, 130. That's not bad. First citizen, Lynette. I'm not really sure who to choose, I'll be honest. Not really sure. Enclave members only. Officer training, loyal officers would be nice. More intellectual support. I like the loyalty. Officer re reform general staff and such. And what do we have here? War industrialist. Fortification engineer. Uh, that's not bad. I, don't, I mean, at this point, I don't care about civilian war support too much. Consumer goods would be better to get. Energy gain per energy. Swords to plowshares. That's not bad. That's just not great. And, of course, as D. Shakey said in the comments yesterday, Daniel Shakey seems kind of interesting. You know, I'm going to go with unpopular pragmatists. I don't care about war support stability too much. I want to lower my consumer goods. And more energy soaking for energy. Something I almost never choose. Hey, look at this. Yes. Build, build, build. Hey, 69. Nice. New Canaan killed off New Canaan. Good job, New Canaan. Now, which New Canaanites are you? Are you the Mormons or Mormons? Daniel. Ah, everyone's name D or Daniel. I love it. All right, then. After that, we'll do this. Elections? More like suspensions. Ah, well, actually, this one's pretty good to do as well. We get more stability, political power. Oh, we got to suspend elections first, though. Of course, when the time comes, when my, team, my term is up, America will be free to elect a new president. And that person will have our full faith and confidence and carry our collective values forward into the future. Democracy, dear America. Democracy now and forever. Alright, let's finally grab this rapid prototyping. That gives us 2% more recruitable population factor. Don't mind if we do. We need more manpower. But I'm glad to see this. Oh, that one's almost done. Nice, Motley. Yeah, let's get done quickly. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, maybe I should not put out all this infrastructure here, too. Bricks? Well, I like bricks. Like I said, you can throw them at people. Nice. Alright. Uh, what do we want next? Actually, you guys did say we should get some airships. And we have other comms to go through as well. I've just been ignoring myself. Range? Air, range is pretty good. Let's get up to more reliability. I'm really tempted to actually grab more infrastructure. 30%, but it's just not worth it right now. It's just not worth it. Hmm. Actually... Does this hurt a legitimacy? No. The Enclave. Oh, Enclave Reborn's right there. We can do that one. We'll be known as the New American State. Oh, remove Emergency Labor Draft. Counterfeiters. Oh, that's one again. Yeah. Same thing. We need to revive the Federal Reserve as well. End of bottle caps. 
we ha we could do that one. We get less group population factor, more construction speed, more factory output, and free repair. Resistance track goes up, and less daily compliance growth speed. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. The Enclave are born. Without a firm guidance of protection, you're not alive. You're simply existing, in America. Postponing death for a day or two? Well, I'm going to tell you, right here, right now, that those days are at an end. The Enclave is back, America, so celebrate, sing it out, America. America is beautiful, America is back. And we will not rest until the wastelands are scoured of all threats for the way of life. The I am president. Douglas did his best, but it wasn't that fat and happy world of pre-war America. No, no, he had to guide his nation through a nuclear wasteland. He had no time to listen to whining barons from California, counselors from Vault City, or other ministers from New Canaan. Only blood and iron will save America. But without liberty, Douglas was sifting through the shell of dead America, one more victim of old world blues. God bless the Enclave. Peace, order, and good government. We lose that's barely any political power. Consumer goods factors goes down. It's more stability, more growth, more attack and output. Uh, God bless the Enclave. <sighs> feels good. It feels real good. What do I do with my pee pee? Hmm. You know what? We can use our pee pee for this. Oh, hello? Where'd it go? There it goes. We can lose just slightly amount of more stability. We might get more stability from other uh, focuses as well. We could use a little bit more war spot, right? Right? Power grid destroyed. We've just received word that a recently constructed power grid has been destroyed by NCR loyalists. What? They appear to have been aware of our plans to incorporate the region using this grid and attack the central power station, destroying it and retreating before reinforcements could arrive. It seems unlikely we'll be able we will be able to construct an electricity grid under these circumstances. Madness and stupidity. Californian re resist. Oh, do we have that as a national spirit? Well, counterfeiting is not good. Martial law. Minor radiation leak is fine. Brahmin barons. Overall radar system. Nu building nuclear world. It's gonna take some time. Oh, we still have. Okay, that's fine. That's my bad. We could. We'll rebuild it later. Connect to grid. So we're still building this one up, and it's almost done. So. I already get. Are you ready to zap me? We have nine. I'm ready to zap. Hope you guys are ready to zap, 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 zap. Should be done super soon. Come on. Is it done yet? Oh, we now have minus two energy here. Us, the first of many provinces to call. Very good. Stockton is well. Stockton should not be next. What? Did, what? Did, how was my organization when I did this? Gunderson Ranch. Scalder is good to do. Gator Ranch is also very good to do. Up there, is this a core of ours? Yes, it is. By that time, it should, uh, actually, make sure we do this one first before we do that one. That'll be okay. Go down. That's that's better. Mr. Mocha Lover, I don't know what you were doing, and I don't know what either. I don't know. I'm talking to myself in the third or fourth person. Hello. <laughs> Another one? Another. Okay, at this point, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. You have to keep assassinating us. Now this is why. Okay. Okay. They want, they want, they want games? We give them games. We'll give them games. I'll give them a game that they can't win. I'll give them a game of uh, what the Ottoman Empire did to the a certain group of Armenians in my Victoria 2 campaign. Mmm. But yesterday's enemies. Although many in California hate the Enclave, we can take steps to pardon those who do not take up arms against the Enclave for and woo some of the old regimes to our cause. As Lincoln said, do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? A new America for a new world. Let it, let the cry go out across the waste. The Enclave has guided America through its darkest hour uh, to the promised land. We shall rid the world of mutants who des desecrate our sacred land. We shall crush the brotherhood wherever we find it. We will rebuild and take the war back to China, where America is reborn, tougher, stronger, and more unified than ever. God bless the Enclave. Uh, we should probably talk about a few more comments as well before I completely forget about them as well. Um, let's see. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Well, let's keep investing in Vault City because I like Vault City. That's not enough money, though. What are implants? That is one of the comments. You know, I'll be honest, I've never used implants.
Okay, well, that was cut short. Cool. So that really sucks. So we need more energy. I thought we had enough. Wait, we do have enough. Wait, why was that removed then? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Bro. Why? Why do you hate me? Another division? That makes sense. Hmm, we're... Man, well, so how are we doing on resistance at this point? Well, I'm glad I went to Caravan Guard, just because we got more compliance, and this actually helps put down resistance. Now, how much manpower are we missing? Only 9,000 nuts? Not bad. We should get some dogs, too. That's not bad, actually. I mean, yeah, that's not looking good, but resistance is capped at a max. Compliance gain is disabled. Probably because we don't have enough manpower. Yeah, we don't have enough manpower. We need to make some doggos. Yeah, there's a lot of things we got to make. Yes, there is enemies. That'll be good. Put down re resistance. Leadership. Incorporate the NCR army. Reluctance to serve. Well, business with California. Rebuild the Pacific Northwest. Four states commonwealth. Stripping the vault. The last arguments of presidents. Gain a war goal against Ashton and Hopeville. Sins of our fathers. Now, remember, I have to go vaccinations. I forget exactly why, but I'm pretty sure I have to go for vaccinations. So, I'm thinking we might just do Chamber of Commerce. Eh, that's not bad. Ooh, energy still capacity is not bad. Hmm. I still can't do that stuff over there. So, we're gonna uh, buy the Federal Reserve first. The United States is strong enough to pursue something unheard of since the Great War: a monetary policy, more political power, stability, all that good stuff. And after that, then we'll come back over here, and we'll do some of this stuff over here. Yeah. So we gotta get more energy just in case. We gotta pursue energy means quickly enough. And we don't, I did say I want doggos. Do normal research. I don't want to hurt our army XP. That'd be very, very bad. So, Redding should be good enough to core. And hopefully we can keep it. We're into the Red Menace. We got a lot of war support now. I like it. We got a lot of political power too. At this point, who do we want? Rapid prototyping, defense, paratrooper attack. Right off that. I mean, 15% more attack. I mean, no question about it. Let's do we need that one. Let's go ahead and grab... You know, grab more construction speed. I don't care if it's ahead of time. It's not that ahead of, So. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Bob. Reduces your expenses as you re restore the economy. Oh. Oh, wait. We can do this one. It's like the vice president carry, carry favor with one of the nation's political stuff. Oh, well... Vice President Doran. Since I can't choose anyone else. America doesn't need a Vice President. It needs a firm hand. And the President needs men who will share his vision. Doran is a soldier and he knows how to follow orders. And he'll do whatever Granite thinks best to keep America safe. Don't step out of line. More war support, more autocracy. Doran will keep the rank of being called Sergeant in the U.S. Army, so no one needs to call him Sir. Nice. I'm glad we settled that pretty quickly. That's good. We have 86 every day. Slowly getting more manpower. Not bad. Ooh, Redding. You're almost done, Redding. Please don't screw this up for us, Rebels. I swear to God, man. I swear. Actually, NCR leadership after this one, probably. With malice towards none and with charity for all. With firmness in the right, as God gives us the, to see right. Or the right. Let us strive on to finish the work we are in and bind up the nation's wounds. Or not. So... So one unfortunate consequences are anti-communist education is that for some of our enemies have claimed the mantle of communism for themselves. Although it's not clear these commie dudes even know who Marx is, they flock to the banner of the Legion. For making a popular front against American imperialism, no worries. We'll find out soon enough why it's better to be dead than <clears throat> red. Kaiser reveals his true colors of the red menace from the east. And man, trying to get this one done as well. New economic policy. Now that we've reestablished Federal Reserve, there's some debate about the fate of the NCR or the New California's currency. If we declare the NCR dollar to be worthless, we can bankrupt some of our greatest foes and distribute their assets to the enclave's friends and comrades. Or we can allow people to convert their NCR currency into American dollars, ensuring an orderly transition. Let us ban the NCR dollar. Let's see. Bankrupt the merchant houses. We 
Yeah, consumer goods lose legitimacy, more factory output, or replace worthless currency with US dollar, worthless wages with standard wages, or allow for an orderly con currency conversion, except the NCR dollar. Well, the NCR is completely illegitimate government. Like, why would we do this? It's completely illegitimate. Illegitimate. There's a reason why we capitulated them and killed them off so fast. They were literally an incompetent government. So, we're going to ban the NCR dollar. Free, free of bottle caps? We probably could do that one, too. We still have so much pee-pee. <gasps> oh, yes. Probably can do that, too. Um, resource extraction gain? Let's do that one, too. That'll help with energy needs. Now, hopefully, this doesn't go poorly for us. Hey, you got a little more manpower. Maybe you need less things to repair stuff with. Oh, what is this? Old Chico. We need 100 manpower to do that, but... All right, all right, I'll see ya. Mark Lee, just don't break it again. Not bad, not bad at all. I like that. We've got some time for that as well. Let's see, anything here? Anything I really care about? That's not enough money. We only have 12,000 caps. How much, how much, who can provide buy power? Yeah, let's do that one. Command power point eight a day is not bad. God dang, they murdered our generals. Man, there's gonna be some severe depopulation then. Oh my goodness, you do not take out the generals. Actually, do you guys have recon on you guys? You don't, which sucks, so. Whatever. Uh, experience soldiers' losses, minus 8%. Uh, get more attack. I like more attack. Oh, we got the command power port, so. Ezra Reynolds. Well, you're using, you're using the infantry for now. Entrenchment actually might be really good. Land out attack. You're gonna attack anyways. So do that person. That's fine. And we need to. Do we need anybody? No, we don't need to train anybody. That's good. Ruling California. Now that the dust is raised by the fall, the NCR is settling. The time has come to decide how to govern the newly liberated Californians. Grant C. Hayes, previously mayor of Dayglow under the NCR, has asked an audience with uh, Douglas Granite. He claims to be a descent of enclave members who escaped Navarro and integrated into the NCR. Hayes believes that we should appoint him to the top position in our reconstruction authority and bar anyone who took up arms against us from office. Many of our older enclave officers balk at the idea of working with our old enemies and demand that any NCR politicians we come across be executed. Disintegrate the NCR leaders. Several advisors of the NCR will be executed. As Lincoln said, do I not destroy my enemies when I make a mash? <laughs> oh man, that's more like Sherman in his march to the sea. Burn, 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 but these primitive voice centers can be put to good use in reconstruction gangs. I like that idea, but... <clears throat> you get what you deserve. And let's get rid of reluctance to serve as well. California's men and women can, without proper, with proper inducement, be persuaded to fight for America. Those of whom are worth saving. Anyways. Wow, that's not enough political power. What do we do with all this? Seriously, what do we do with all this? I could get more... Oh, hello. No, don't ruin it. Good. Heaven's Gate, it's cool. Anywhere else? Maybe? Oh, okay. Tax breaks. They deserve tax breaks, so San Francisco, none of these places are cord. Yeah, none of them are cord, so I don't want to invest in places that aren't cord. Maybe except Greater Dayglow. It's a nice place. I haven't been in Greater Dayglow in a while. Actually, quite a long time. Well, since we're here, Chief, they, again, if you would like to read this about this again, go ahead. Intervention? Put, put it in another place. I'm not going to even bother with them. Advanced generators will be good. Trade? It's not bad, but we're going to go ahead and at least build one up for now. Oh, but uh, where we have 80% infrastructure, too. So, Oh, actually, we'll build three. Not bad. I like that. Train? Yes. Give me them doggo renos. There you go. And transports, we can go down to five for now. That's totally fine. Ooh. We can go down to five as well. That's fine. Gunships, we're not making any because we're out of resources. So be it. We would have almost 47, 48 dogs. Love it. New American state disabled. Really oh, hello. Etna? Etna mode. Good. Whoa, look at that! We got the manpower back! Nice. Install a police force. We well, can build again another building. That's not super important, I would say, so. Wow. We cored some of these places. Oh, and we got rid of reluctance to serve as well, right? Or we'll get rid of that with this one. What did we do earlier? Wait. 
What focus have I clicked on? What am I thinking? I can't think anymore. What is going on? Suspend elections. Answer the Ezra Reynolds calls ill. Well, thanks for showing up. Okay, I mean, I'll take the manpower. Yeah. All right then. Economic decisions. Great news. Um, sure. Why not? I'll take it. I love it. Oh, we can do this too. First solar stockpiles. Yes. Incorporate the NCR army. Great. Arguments. So nuke Flagstaff. Note some of the free press and Congress might take issue with this. The sins of our fathers uniting the states of America. We'll get there soon. This episode is all about reforming ourselves. And I'm glad we finished all this up too. Free of bottle caps? We might as well. It's a testament to our economic prowess that commerce no longer relies on bottle caps. Yeah. Um. Okay then. I guess if you core. What? Mark Lee? Tumbleton Ranch. Ooh, open day. And of course, Redding was pretty nice. Well, Chico and Etna. I guess that gives you plenty of manpower. Okay. So, after years of construction, New Land is open to rave reviews and would be crushing competition if there were any other theme park in the wastes. Casualties from the Death Claw Pennings are within acceptable parameters, and the haunted house's feral ghouls provide excellent paramilitary training. And of course, the rocket roller coaster is fun. For one brief day, American citizens get a taste of what our nation will be like when we finish rebuilding. Just obey park security. Cutting a line is unpleasant consequences. More stability, legitimacy. Beautiful. Wow, this actually kind of worked. Wow, Nuka World. Love it. Baseball. The president decided to revive a pre-war game to boost patriotism and has gone on the radio with a new speech. We've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I'm referring to, of course, our great national pastime, baseball. Now ask yourselves this. What if Nevada's gamblers could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from California or Oregon? Put your faith in the enclave, Great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live once again. Back to work. Well, we already built nuclear land. We're kind of already going down the path yet. You know what? This is a very strict area with martial law. But people need outs. They need ways to enjoy themselves. Because we don't want them to rise up too much. And bread and games. We don't want to forget bread and games. Bread and circuses. So, give them some of that. Why not? Let them feel a little bit better about themselves. Sac City. We, we can't do this one? Oh. Do we... What's wrong with this place? It's on level 3. Return of the U.S. dollar. Hey, look at that. Since the Great War, the U.S. dollar has been worthless, used for mattress stuffing, or even used as a basis of clothes in some desperate communities. But the United States of America has given Benjamin Franklin's, George Washington's, and Taylor Swift's new life. Wait, Taylor Swift? Backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. Army, even communities that have not yet rejoined the grand experiment of adopting the currency. This trend referred to as dollarization by some NCR academies, or New Californian academies, or academics, will undoubtedly bring them closer to America. Change is good, but dollars are better. Oh yeah, nice. You better trade with us. Um, uh, automated harvesting. Other comments. Oh, uh, yeah, implants. Uh, yeah, implants. What are implants? Oh, cybernetics. Um, I'm not really sure. Create a cybernetic implants. Creation of a nanobot. Medical dis diagnostic and healing system. Contained in a standard stim pack package. Able to quickly inform as well as assist our medics in case of any rejection from biological connection points. They can also outright independently heal tissue damage with nanoscopic operation. So it just gives you bonuses for the most part. Power armor scavengers attacked. Um, that's not good. I would like another research lab too, but we're working on getting more army XP. There we go. The deal with the devil. Oh crap. Wolpa stood on the banks of the Rio Grande as a mask hiding his true feelings as he stepped onto the boat. Rumors from the west spoke of a def dying eagle that sank its talons into the bear. And in the south, one of the gods of Mexico stormed forth to avenge his father, screaming a bloody vengeance. As the ghoul suddenly rowed Vol Volpus's boat across the river, he thought of the great Kaiser's words. Kai's are predicted that a computer could never surpass man, so the real threat lay to the West. And the God's servant spoke of trade, a treaty, and a promise of assistance should the U.S. Army ever march. But as Wolpus looked at the battalion of Assultrons, scanning without movement, he wondered if Kaisar was right. Ave. Oh, look, another one? Man, corny stuff is... I love it. After you know how to do this, it's not that bad. Yes, please. And we keep getting more manpower. Hmm. This organized army? How much manpower can we get? Non-core manpower 15 plus 5%. Scraping the bro. That actually is normal. Wait, this is all normal stuff. This is not even overall blues. Alright, you know, I'll just go with volunteer army. We can script even more. To hell to heck with that. Yeah, why not? Free of bottle caps? Finally. 
The end of bottle caps. Bottle caps were an ingenious solution to the wasteland's problems. How do you create a currency with no government? The bottle caps, original bottle caps, were backed by a potable water from the hub. And because the bottle caps could not be replicated in post-war conditions, they had a fixed store of value. But as the wasteland's economy grew, the limited supply of bottle caps meant more goods were chasing less money, discouraging economic growth with the return of the old glory to the wastes. The government can impose a rational currency worth whatever the government says it's worth. Wait, this isn't the... Isn't this why candy bars cost $1,000 before the war? Not bad. Yeah, I'm really pleased with... This is a ridiculous amount of manpower. We're only at 1%. 1 Holy crap. Awesome, awesome. And hearts and minds. A business is California. California's hard on, fallen on hard times after NCR mismanagement, the Brotherhood raids, and damage from stray plasma grenades. Well, Mayor Hayes and the Enclave will make it spick and span in no time. <clears throat> Let's grab one more focus before we're done here, too. Let's see. Actually, I wanted to grab you guys, too, because that's really, really good. Navy stuff. Sub detection. I don't really care, I'll be honest. So, capital ship. Electrical extraction would be great. And a boon to ourselves. Even more extraction, please. Yes, please. So actually, we are filled up on these guys, huh? Braxton Berry. Training programs, not bad. Let's get some more doggos. Love. Oh, crap. I'll use the army XP. Gosh darn it, Mr. Mocha Lover. What is What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm forgetful sometimes. Sometimes I guess I do talk to myself in the third person as well. Go figure. If that's the case. There you go. Don't want even want to deal with it. You know, if we got all this manpower, as long as we do this, we can get as many of these divisions as possible. Oh, hello. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, how much energy do we have? We don't want to cause a blackout. Oh, we got, we got enough. Is that it? Because I think we are building almost everywhere here. You gotta love California. It's so resource rich. Oh yeah, we forgot this area too. It's alright. No worries. No worries. Even these guys. Wait, do we build... Yeah, civilian power grids, yeah. Huh. Let's see. Even though this is cl getting close to the end of the episode, let's see. Other things. Let's see. Can you build power grids in puppet territory? Yeah, make tanks or robots for manpower issues. Oh, candlelight vigil in Stockton. People gathered in Stockton remember one year since the Stockton massacre. Have a little ceremony. Break it up. Get out of here. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure, but we don't need to do that anymore. Like, we have enough manpower now. And actually, we were really low on manpower, but now we're even mobilizing more. But the Gunrunners. Gunrunners is the weapons merchant and manufacturer faction operating out of the porches in the boneyard today. It has branches in many areas, including one near the strip of the Mojave Wesleyan. The Gunrunner supplies only the finest hardware to the most discerning of customers, which used to conclude the NCR. Most Gunrunner workshops are set up in areas that recently came under our control. Unsure of the new regime's view of their business, they have just ceased production temporarily. Many are making plans to leave, and will do so as soon as we make, unless we make our opinion of them clear. Let them continue operating legitimate business and are allowed to continue operating as before. All those fine guns will be safe in our hands. Close them down. Eh, we already have enough equipment. Let them continue operating, I don't care. Stripping the vaults? Well, when you say stripping, I get excited. Well, I'm not really too much. Well, you know what? Stripping the vaults. We're going to the four states, Commonwealth. As, as we extend America to pre-war Commonwealth that encompass Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico, we must decide how to govern and administer them. Cool, but that's going to unfortunately end today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we shall begin reuniting the Wasteland under our rule. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.